Hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and uh, yes I usually go from Capricorn all the way to Sagittarius um, and load up the videos and put them out then and there in such a um, sequence but um, you have got the fourth place as you gave so many likes and this is my way of thanking you so you are number four so if you want to get to number one then keep on sharing and liking and I do appreciate it so welcome to my cyber angels and my new viewers if you are new then please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified when I go live I go live three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday and um, uh, I also uh, give away free cards and I also answer questions uh, which are supported by super chat uh, by donations and that is super chat or super stickers whilst I am doing your reading I can see the full moon or yeah no not the full moon the the old moon uh, the full moon I can see it through the trees so this is a magical reading okay now that said let's get back to business I hope you've enjoyed the seven month forecast or rather the update of the yearlies as the energy has changed drastically and the romance reading well uh, that goes without saying you lot have enjoyed it because otherwise oh, there wouldn't be so many thumbs up thank you very much it's very much appreciated and this is my way of thanking you by making you number four I did say the one that has the most likes will be number one and that was Gemini then Capricorn then you Libra and no, sorry Libra and then you Virgo I'm doing my nine card spread which I usually do in an extended reading privately one by one so if you would like to have an extended reading look below the video in the description box and there you will find the information or look at the right hand corner and um, where there is a white dot and click on that and then you can g be taken to the website and there you can see all readings on offer there are more readings going to be put up as I have got another couple of readings a crystal ball readings with tarot cards or Lenormand cards to clarify and confirm okay so that is and there's loads of things happening the competition is happening at the moment so I hope you've seen the video on the competition if you would like to win a a new deck of the Shadowlands then join the competition you might have a chance to win nobody is a loser because the second place will have um, the vice versa deck if the first person hasn't has accepted the sh uh, the Shadowland uh, tarot and otherwise the first person can have the choice and otherwise it will be the vice versa and third place is a free reading for 20 minutes and uh, if you don't win a prize then you always have your visionary board that you made to support you so no everybody gets something uh, it took a long time to suss out what I could do so everybody would have a result and in two weeks time I will go live and interact with all my cyber angels that wish to join in to talk about uh, the vision board you might have questions issues or suggestions I would be happy and honored to uh, talk about it so let's get to your reading thank you for sharing and liking I hope you will continue to do so and I hope to meet you in the live sessions if not in the next video this is my nine card spread as I said I usually use one deck and the other deck I use as clarification cards besides the oracle cards but now I am using the this is the querent card the center card so that is you I'm pretending you're sitting across of me and that um, or that you on Skype or messenger whatever but you're across from me 
this is you but if I do it in the old way that I've been reading weeklies then this is the overall theme card so you can take that as that as well this is Monday Wednesday Friday and the weekend then we've got the clarification cards the either the three cards clarify the Linemon or the Linemon clarify the three cards and the same with this corner okay and the same with this corner and the same with this corner and the angel feather card and uh, from the big arcana uh, we've got the from the white witch's tarot um, we've got the big arcana and that is also a person a zodiac sign that could be hanging around you for whatever reason that could be we can find that out perhaps in the reading or somebody that you might be meeting and the meaning of the cards of the card we begin with justice uh, Virgo and you first of all I see the number 11 the angels have your back it, in, in this light my hands look as if they're tanned <laughs> joke 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 you might not be in balance you might feel out of whack you're trying to keep balance use your wisdom take time out to rest okay go to bed if you need to go to bed take your rest come back in your balance drink well eat well okay if you're in a judicial situation you will get what you deserve and so will the other justice also represents Libra so you might be meeting a Libra or there is a Libra in your life that is very important or significant okay on Monday we have the Queen of Swords again she represents Libra now don't exclude the Queen for the Gemini and the Aquarium because it is the air sign but the King is usually considered Gemini as that's the first air house and Libra is the second and the Queen is the second in line down to the page the night is n the night means all three okay so there might be a Libra that is significant for you if you are in a judicial situation there might be a Libra that is dealing with your case and defending you right to uh, the end because that's what the air signs do they really fight for justice and clarity and honesty look she's looking through the books to find out more information because the air signs also stand for wisdom communication they need to have a sound and clear mind and knowledge so they know what they're talking about to cut to sell ice cubes to Eskimos and cu or cut through to the core to get clarity so you might be meeting a Libra or an, a Gemini or an Aquarium on Monday on Wednesday we have the page of cups you will be getting news this could be a love letter but this could also be news about something that you're passionate something that you are nurturing so if you are nurturing a project or if you're seeking a job uh, in a vocation of your choice and you love that then that is you might get news about that you could get news the page of cups is Pisces so you could get news from a Pisces but don't exclude Cancer or Scorpio on Friday we have the six of Pentacles perhaps you might be receiving news about money perhaps somebody owed you money and you want it back you gave it to them you gave it a, not as a gift but as a loan because the six of pentacles means that when somebody is well off they give to the less fortunate if you are more fortunate uh, and less fortunate if you are the less fortunate one then you might get a gift uh, from a more fortunate person this could be a listening ear this could be a hand uh, this could be money but if you were the fortunate one and you lent money and this is what you 
this is what I read in the extended then I also read the lines and the crosses and more and you get so much from nine cards if you are the one that was more fortunate and you loaned money to somebody that was less fortunate because they didn't they were out of work or they were sick um, uh, at that time and you want it back and they promised it you back but they didn't give it you back you went to seek justice and this is what the Queen of Swords is sorting out for you and to be compassionate um, she she is compassionate she might want to settle it out of court and this is um, a letter from her to you to say would you like to settle out of court for if, if he pays or she pays the money back uh, could you uh, settle uh, be would that be all right or do you want to go the whole hog and personally I've got a feeling that you will say yes I will accept because you will get back uh, what you deserve and uh, you can cut the costs from uh, if you don't go to court you don't have to pay the, the courts costs or whatever only the lawyer or the advisor okay you are moving to smoother waters you might even be moving away or going on holiday you're leaving rough waters behind the monsters okay you're going to quieter waters so that is awesome as you've got the six of swords great stuff okay that is at the weekend so you might take a weekend break okay now this person what I also get is uh, you know that this person might come back to you but I get the feeling you don't really want to know them not if they've done you the dirty and I think that would be a condition that you would say to your mediator or advocate okay you will settle out of court so long they will not con contact you anymore I'm not giving you any ideas but that's the feeling I feel there is still it's like a, a, a champagne bottle you're uncorking it but you're trying to keep pop, the explosion the pop you down in you so try to ease that that something is gurgling up to explode don't explode please take it easy let it go okay let it go I know it's very difficult okay now the first card from the Lenaman in the corner is the mountain okay now that was really an eye uh, uh, something that I saw and felt because uh, you don't let something lie easily because it, it you know you want to be neutral uh, you've got two feet on the ground and you are a perfectionist Virgo so you expect other people even more to be in a perfectionist you know um, if you you like to be treated the way you treat them you want somebody to understand you and to help you and treat you with respect if you've helped them out right um, so uh, you s what I'm saying is the mountain is that you c you see problems when there isn't a problem don't make a problem don't make it worse that is what I'm trying to say don't make it worse and coming back to that popping the that um, that fizzing that brewing uh, feeling that I had before the cork pops up you might explode don't explode walk away from other people's drama don't see any per um, don't see problems where there aren't any don't make something bigger uh, just let it die let it die just say that you know if if they contact you if they are the one that didn't pay you back and you had to go to to seek justice then cut them away they're no good for you okay okay so don't make this is the mountain you can take it slowly step by step but you don't have to climb the mountain don't make a mountain out of a molehill don't make it worse you've got the eight of uh, uh, 
uh, clover so that means the eight of wands you're going to get news and s things are going to happen lots of things are going to happen all at once like I said you might be traveling or moving home okay the same with the eight of clover you'll get messages through email text message or phone calls if this person that has done you wrong tries to contact you block him or her okay luck is on your side okay luck is on your side and again you've got the six of pentacles so you've got a six six here the six of diamonds is pentacles okay but you have luck you will get justice you will stay in balance okay so six six the angels have your back okay this person will know I think he's going to get a wake-up call from the person that's your advisor or uh, advocate he will be warned strictly because she does not take any BS she'll cut through the call and she'll cut she'll tell him exactly how it is boom I know how that feels he will feel very small but she will tell him the truth she will make a move away from you okay she will make a move to justice towards justice and leave the past the past he won't come to you because she she's in between you don't have to contact them okay wow Virgo you have something major going on here <laughs> okay I'm glad I'm not in their shoes okay now you've also got the birds and it's lying next to the Queen and she she's a wall she's she could be also you can compare the swords a lot to fire all right the Queen of Wands doesn't take any BS either but she's more logical she'll think about it more logical she's creative the Queen of Swords goes to the jugular once she's riled up she'll go for the jugular vein okay now you've got number th 12 here so that's three you're creative like I said she's creative and the fire signs are creative and you've got the um, the seven of wands here so you will be defended and you can defend yourself that's the seven of pentacles uh, it's not the seven it's not the seven of wands it's the seven of pentacles sorry my excuses sorry what you sow you shall reap if you sow love and purity and goodness like here giving a present giving a loan you will reap it you will get it back threefold trust me and the birds means that you will get news you have a different perspective perhaps you might settle out of court because you've got a good heart Virgo and the, the Queen of Wands will say well you know they're worse off than what you thought they were they don't have nothing they have they're worse off than you ever could imagine and it was very hard for them to s ask for a loan or and they couldn't pay it back and they didn't know it because they were sick and now they've lost a job because of their disablement whatever excuse but you will get a different perspective you will hear news that will astound you that will open your nurturing side because the pages are nurture creatures and she will make you understand that you've done well but judicially you're right but she will also uh, say uh, I can get institutions to help these people they don't have to be excluded okay so all is well it will end well but f be careful of gossip you might have to go to meetings and presentations or gatherings so you might have to sit around the table with this person in the end but it will be all right 
what you sow you shall reap it has taken its time okay okay you will get back into balance because something will become clear to you the truth is going to come out be warned the truth always does come out now you've got the bear here and that's the ten of wands the bear defends what is dear to him right and he is strong nobody can budge him because he's strong he stands with four feet on the ground he is sober so perhaps you might be sober and you defend what is important to you and that what you love you've got number 15 6 so that is balance somebody might be jealous of you that could be this person or anybody else for that matter it could be a Libra it could be a Libra okay and there was somewhere else no there wasn't no there wasn't the page oh yes the page of cups the page of cups is Pisces it could be a Pisces that is jealous of you as well okay so you've been through the walls there's an ending coming definitely with this situation there's an ending coming a new beginning luck is on your side because the bear also means luck now you have the angel feather and that's the golden angel feather and the golden angel feather well you did have um, the uh, the seven of pentacles here so money is coming to you golden angel feather full circle something is coming to an end in other words the angels acknowledge and applaud the wonderful effort you've put in you are transforming from an ordinary man into a spiritual being that is what I said look at this you are going to soften up once you hear the truth okay you are a gentle and generous person okay so you can meditate on gold you can wear gold to enhance your stress level your health level and your conscious level your spiritual you might also meet a Gemini Gemini this is the lovers card you have met your soulmate or you are with your soulmate now we've got the Libra here and where did we else did we have the Libra the Libra there but we've got the Gemini here Wow so that is very important these are the big arcana cards from that's the white witch tarot and it's only the big arcana but I love them because if you if you are crazy about tattoos then these are awesome for tattoos if you want an idea go and have a look, look at the review uh, on this deck the white witch's tarot and choose your tattoo it might give you a brilliant idea because all these cards have the light side and the dark side and we can't do w without neither we need our rest period which is dark we uh also the the bad side of us the shadow side is dark and the light side is cheery and happy and we can see everything because then it's daylight and we're active so remember we have two sides the feminine and the masculine you are a softy but you are no fool definitely not you are beautiful something has come full circle and that is what the whole reading has been about you've learned and a lot of lessons the angels acknowledge and applaud the wonderful effort you have put in you are transforming from an ordinary man into a spiritual being yes you are not going to court you are going to settle outside court because you're a gentle person okay Virgo I hope you've enjoyed this reading um, and please like and share and keep on liking so perhaps you'll be number one next week love you all and I hope to see you in the life Monday Wednesday and Tuesday 
and if you would like to have a personal reading then please check out the information below the video uh, or in that white spot and I hope you join the, in the competition. Take care, God bless and be blessed and stay safe.